Do you want to come to San Francisco? For the last three years at Vancouver International Airport, therapy dogs have been a good distraction for tired toddlers. He's nice and soft. And anxious flyers. <laughs> the program is known as the Less Airport Stress Initiative or LASI. As a baseline, you just get people smiling, which is a great starting point, but then you actually start to identify people who might be under the stress of travel, which we understand how stressful travel can be. Researchers have found that animal to human interaction allows muscles to relax, breathing to become regular, blood pressure to drop, and the heart rate to slow down. That's exactly the same pattern of um, anxiety relief that you would get if you were on Prozac for six weeks. Big difference is if you spend five, ten minutes with a therapy animal, you get it instantaneously. Three years ago, psychologists at the University of British Columbia paired stressed out students with dogs. The study has surprising results that could apply to passengers. A single session with a therapy dog uh, our evidence says you'll still have some beneficial effects 10 hours later. That's pretty good. That's, that's going to get you through most flights. That explains why other international travel hubs recently adopted animals. From Stitches the Cat at Minneapolis St. Paul Airport to Lilu the Pig hogging all the attention at San Francisco's airport. They've never seen a pig in the airport. She can do tricks like a dog. The pig and her owner are known as the WAG Brigade, and the affection for the animal has taken off. Speaks of intelligence of a three-year-old human child, and for them it's important to stimulate their intelligence and make sure that they're not bored. That part That is part of her healthy well-being. Uh, so volunteering and visiting facilities like this helps her stimulate her senses and her intelligence. For now, there are no plans for pigs at Vancouver airport, just the 10 dogs who have become the airport's ambassadors. We have started our program last year with the notion of dogs being the primary vehicle, but we actually look at that uh, for the future and seeing if we would add more dogs or actually other animals. And in case you were wondering, they're all house or airport trained.